Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can use vectors on the PI36X Pro scientific calculator. To do this we'll be using the second key located here and the EE key with a vector as its second function located here. Getting started, if we want to enter our vectors onto our calculator, what we want to do is press second and then the EE key. That'll bring us to this menu here. You can see we're highlighting names right now and we have a U, a V, and a W. These are the three options for vectors we can enter. So we have three possible vectors we can store. If we go over to the right one, to math, we see dot product, cross product, nor magnitude. So these are different functions we can do with our vectors. And if we go right one more time, we get to edit. This is where we can enter and adjust our vectors. You can see here we have two three-dimensional vectors, u and v. So if we want to enter that or define our vectors, we'll highlight number one, u, press enter. Brings us to this menu here. It's asking us how many dimensions we want. Well, we're doing three, so we'll move over to the three, highlight it, press OK once. Now it's highlighting the OK. We'll press it again. Now we're at this menu here. This is our three different dimensions for our U vector. You can see our first dimension is 1, so we'll press 1. It says U1 equals 1 there. Press Enter. Our second one is 2. 2, Enter. And U3 is 3, so we'll press Enter. There we go. Now to back out of this screen, we can either press second quit or we can press second EE to get back to our vector menu. When we do this, you can see we now have a DIM equals 3 or a dimensions equal 3 under our U vector. So let's enter our V vector. You can go to the right twice to the edit options, down to V, press enter. Again, this is a three-dimensional vector, so we'll highlight the three and press enter twice. And here's our V vector, three, two, one. So our V1 is three, enter. Our V2 is two, enter. And our V3 is one, enter. And now we can go back to our vector menu with second EE. And see, we have a three-dimensional vector in our V slot. After we've entered our vectors, again, let's quit back to the main screen with second quit. And now we can do some calculations with our vectors. If we want to add two vectors, like u and v, we can do this by pressing second ee, back to the names menu, highlighting our u vector, and we see we have a u there now. If we press plus, second EE, go down, highlight our V vector, and press enter. We can now see we have a U plus V. If we press enter, we see we've added our two vectors to get 4, 4, 4, which, if you look at our original vectors, does make sense. We can also find the dot product of these two vectors by pressing the second EE key, moving to the right one, highlighting math, and we see our first option here is dot product. So if we press enter on that, we see dot P on our main screen. Now we go back to our vector menu with second EE, and let's select U, so we press enter there. So we have dot P bracket U. Now we want to put a comma there, second decimal here. You can see we have a comma there now. And if we go second function EE and highlight our V vector this time, pressing enter, you can see it's now on the other side of the comma there. And if we close our bracket, we have the dot product of U comma V. So we press enter and we get 10, which is the result. Clear that. 
we can also find the cross product of these two vectors. Just like the dot product, we do this by pressing second BE, moving to the right once, to the math menu, and if we scroll down one, we see number two is the cross product. So we press enter, we see cross P equals bracket, so let's select our U vector, there we go, put in our comma, it's very important we have the comma between our two vectors, which remember we get by pressing second function period, back to our vector menu, highlighting our V vector, enter, closing our brackets, so it should look like this, and then pressing enter. And we see we get our cross product of these two vectors as negative 4, 8, negative 4. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.